Hey, this is Type V3, and it's Morphin Time with everyone's favorite cheerleading Valley Girl. This is the SH Figure Arts Kimberly Hart, the Mighty Morphin Pink Power Ranger. Sporting the new MMPR female body, the Pink Ranger looks great and captures the spirit of teenage angst in plastic form perfectly. The sculpting is solid, the proportions are on the mark, and the paint applications are clean, especially in sections like her belt. Her helmet is beautiful too. I love how the pink area was molded in as opposed to just being painted detail, and the metallic green eyes are a nice touch. Aesthetically, the Pink Ranger looks great and I have no major complaints to speak of. Kimberly scales well when compared to the male characters in the lineup, and there's even changes made to her design that I much prefer. Her knee joints give off the appearance of knee pads as opposed to a strange gap seen on the male body, and because of her smaller frame, the shoulder sleeves are more minimal and natural. Furthermore, I found a lot of the sections around the joints to taper in ever so slightly, which results in a smoother and nicer looking toy overall. Posability on the Pink Ranger basically meets the standard set by a modern SH Figure Watch release. So with that said, she can pretty much do any pose you want her to, and everything that the Red Ranger could do, she could do too. However, she does have minor improvements all around. First of which, we'll look at the shoulders. Her shoulder sleeves, are, like I mentioned, are a lot more natural looking, but when you move her arm, they kind of tend to follow the, the seams and lines of the, of the rest of the body, and they don't really get dislodged all too often. Unlike here on the Red Ranger, when you were to move his arm, sometimes what would happen is, it would just kind of go upside down and you'd have to kind of go in and fix that manually. So that kind of sucked. The Red Ranger also had a pretty terrible torso crunch or, or yeah, upper chest crunch where he couldn't really bend forward. Most of the bend was happening here at the waist. With the Pink Ranger, she can actually go forward. I mean, she has a full range of movement in that, in that ab crunch. I also found that her belt is really tight and form-fitting and a lot nicer. Unlike here on the Red Ranger, it was kind of loose and then you always saw that little breaking the gap there, which is always a little disappointing. Um, finally, with the knee joints, like I said, the Red Ranger to me always looked like it had this weird little gap, and they've gone back and just made the joint look like a knee pad. So the result is a smooth looking knee bend. I mean, it, it kind of looks a little squared off, but on the Red Ranger what you would get is this plastic section that would protrude out and kind of look funny. So I do like how they've, they've, they've gone back to their older design with the Pink Ranger. Uh, finally on the Pink Ranger, I thought that this skirt was going to be very limiting. On past female Sentai bodies, they've actually included replaceable skirts that will offer more articulation because they've got cuts in the side. With the Pink Ranger, between the soft, pliable material, the huge cut on the seam line, and her pull-down legs, she can actually do almost anything just fine. She could do the splits like her gymnastic character would have you believe and uh, it's actually not limiting at all. In total, I'm fairly impressed with the Pink Ranger. I mean, yes, I was expecting a lot of great posability. This is an SH Figure Arts, but she improves everything that's been done by the Red Ranger before her, and honestly, despite it being a smaller body, I find this to be the much more enjoyable SH Figure Arts Power Ranger release in terms of just posing and, and playing around with. For display hand options, the Pink Ranger comes with fists and her signature posing hands. I think she could have used a pair of dynamic fingers too, but it's nothing necessary. Next, there's a pair of gripping hands to wield the Blade Blaster. Now, unlike the Red Ranger, she only comes with the weapon in its holstered state and the Ranger Slinger combined form. It's a big disappointment considering the former is essentially a display-only accessory and the latter was rarely seen in the show. Kimberly's final pair of hands are for use with her special weapons, the power bow and arrow. There's plenty of detail on the bow to make it pop, and the silver arrow looks great. She's able to wield both accessories just fine, though because the arrow is directly molded with her right hand, you can't display it separately. I don't find myself missing that feature, and of course, it does make posing a lot easier. To be honest, when the SH Figure Arts Mighty Morphin Pink Power Ranger was announced, I didn't think much of it. Sure, being a Tomashi Nation's release, her high quality was almost guaranteed, though I wasn't expecting to see anything here that hadn't already been accomplished by the Red and Green Rangers before her. That said, I was pleasantly surprised. Putting it simply, the core figure is the best combination of functionality and form in the lineup. It's not a huge difference, however, it's one that I truly appreciate. The only real downside to this figure would be her accessory selection. I just want all the forms of the Blade Blaster to be included. Still, it's not enough to completely turn me off from the toy. Overall, the SH Figure Arts Pink Ranger is great. No, she's not a better value proposition than her leader, but if Kimberly is the specific ranger you're after, you'll be more than satisfied. Anyways, this has been Type V3. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll admit it, I had a huge crush on Kimberly Hart as a kid. Then again, who didn't? After all, she was just... more phenomenal.